that dude. Yeah, I know, right? Show up his own ass. You're a fucking contortionist. Whoopee. I contort my junk all day long and I don't have to feel superior about it. Just a little ashamed and empty inside. Overshare. Hey, guy was talking smack to your mother. Well, I applaud you, Pop. Here, here. You're like finally like using your powers of selfishness and rage for like good. Not an objective universal good, but like a subjective what's in our best interest kind of good. Fuck yeah, awesome. Let's rob somebody. <laughs> do it, Dad. Yeah, do, do it. it. Do, do it. it. Enough, okay? I love that we're getting along, but knock it off. Yeah, don't like actually rob a liquor store. That might like kill the mood. Fucking therapy. Let's do that shit. Hey, how about you just let your mom and me talk, okay? We got some issues we gotta iron out. And seeing as you two aren't into it, you can just sit there and be quiet. That's cool with me. I got all the prescriptions I need, at, at least for the meantime. Thank you. Michael, kids, let's go inside. Okay. What's wrong with you? I'm fighting. Amanda. Hello. Good to see you again. Michael, I'm so glad. Isn't this great? Fantastic. Michael, be positive. I am being positive. <clears throat> this is me being positive. Give it up, Michael. The sarcasm. It's one of the reasons I moved out. It's beneath you. No, it's not, Amanda. Trust me. Nothing's beneath me. No, normally there's a whore beneath you. <laughs> you know, for someone who spends every waking moment working on themselves inside and out, I gotta tell you, the progress has been really fucking slow. How would you know what progress is like, you stupid murdering shit? Uh, gee, because all you do is whine at me. Oh! All I do is whine. Michael, could you please stop murdering people? Michael, could you please stop endangering me and the both of your children? You kill people and then you sit in the sun and drink and feel guilty about it. That is not work. I don't see you complaining on the way to the fucking bank. I mean, let's face it, Amanda. We're trailer trash, you and me. We were taught to do this. Get a center, Michael. You have no center. How about you suck my cock? Huh? No oh, way. We'll both get a center before that ever happens. You are such a fucking animal, a deranged animal. You fucking ain't right on deranged. How could I not be? I should have had you locked up years ago, you stupid Do shit. It. Do it. I'll put you in the fucking ground with the rest of them. And that's really all the time we have. Oh. Great. I think we made some real progress there. Oh, uh, Michael. <laughs> I hope this goes without saying, but family work is a little more expensive. What, double? Squared. <laughs> of course. Take care now. Hey, so you gonna come home with me or what? I guess we'll give it a try. All right then. Kids! So, will you drive us home? You know, there was a moment there, I thought... What? I don't know, like, maybe we still had a ways to go. You know, like, maybe we need more time. Time for what? Time to move beyond screaming at each other. That was cathartic. Catharsis all over my face. Ooh, I got a warm, fuzzy feeling. Probably just the meds you rated. Okay. Oh, my. Cathartic. All right, I just don't want it to be more of the same. 
Now you're the one making the demands? No, 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 not demands. I, I, I'm saying you're right. Something was broke, and we gotta work at fixing it. We do, all of us. Yes, Mom. For real, peeps. Because I started to understand something in there. No one else gets this family. Not Dr. Friedlander, or my yoga teacher, or our tennis coach, or the juice guy, or the dog walker. Oh, or, hey, hey. Oh. Or Jimmy's third grade teacher. Or the trash guy. Or dad's proctologist. Or the guy that thinks he's Jesus on Vespucci Beach. Or the hippie bum who thinks the world is ending. We're stuck with each other. I mean, how do you explain faking our deaths, changing our names, all the lying to the FIB? That monster, Trevor. There's no explaining, Uncle T. Hey, is he coming to the next therapy session? What? No. No. Jeez. Just one thing, Michael. Don't get us killed. And don't get killed. Can you do that? I give it my best shot. With every fiber of my being, I will do whatever it takes to make sure it doesn't happen. Promise. And no more hookers or other women. Yeah, Dad. Gross. You're better than that, Pop. Uh, guys, I'm not really comfortable having this conversation. Just keep it in your pants, OK? Yeah, it's so demeaning how you treat women. Here we are, home sweet home. Remember this place? Kids, rooms. If you find dead bodies, cheap women, or Trevor Phillips, we're checking into the Rockford Hills Hotel. An architect. All right, don't fuck it up. All right. Hey, stupid! You can't be on here without a hat. Yo, dude. Yeah, thanks a lot. How's it going? Site inspection. Architect on site. There's always scope for improvement. Always is. Those idiots drilled the new caissons on the west side. You're kidding me. The bedrock ends there. We need caissons on the east side. Ah, uh, no drama. It's a government contract. We'll be paid until completion. I ain't taking a fall for this screw up. It's a government contract. No one's taking a fall, except the government. Hey, stupid! You can't be on here without a hat! Yeah, thanks a lot. 
Site inspection. Architect on site. Anything we need to be worried about? The only thing we're worried about is you changing the plans again. There's always scope for improvement. Always is. Those idiots drilled the new caissons on the west side. You're kidding me. The bedrock ends there. We need caissons on the east side. Ah, uh, no drama. It's a government contract. We'll be paid until completion. I ain't taking a fall for this screw up. It's a government contract. No one's taking a fall, except the government. and study him hard. I was gonna wipe my ass on him. That's the engineer's plans. Mine you treat like a religious text, remember? Yeah, that's it. Hey, you got him? Of course I do, homie. Here. Thank you. So, all good? Sure, homie. So is this shit for real? We just gonna rob the FIB and be allowed to walk by your boys like that? Yeah, I don't fucking know. Probably not. All right, Lester, what do you got? Uh, I don't quite know yet. Give me a minute. I'm not a fucking computer. Oh. Oh. Oh, maybe I am. <laughs> 
Here's what I think. We have two options. The new security software goes into containment mode in case of emergency, you know, uh, earthquakes, mudslides, acts of God. So we could plant some firebombs. They go bang, the emergency call goes out. We hijack it, show up as firemen, and then we grab the containment drive. Or we could hack the system on site. We'll go in by, uh, by air. Uh, hope we don't run into too much physical resistance. Sounds relaxing. Either bombing our office ran by a division of corrupt government psychos or defeating one of the world's most complex security systems using our worthless ass ninja skills, huh? Yeah, any, many, money, mo. If you favor the firebomb containment drive option, you'll go in with that janitor's ID you picked up. It'll be at night when most of the workers are off. You mop the place and plant the bombs where we need them. Seriously? I got a mop? Yeah, yeah, you really do. They'll clock you on the cameras if you're play-acting. You also need a fire truck to show up in when the bombs go off, and a getaway car stashed in a quiet place near the bureau so you can torch the truck and then get out. The car doesn't have to be anything special. There shouldn't be any heat. Well, what about the other way, with the uh, ninja skills? Now you choose that route, you won't be using the janitor's gear, but we had to cover all the bases. Your FIB paymasters will have to provide you with a chopper and a pilot. Now you fly way up above the building, parachute in, and gain access to the roof here. Now you'll need to be armed to the teeth, mind you, just in case the uh, shit goes down. Mopping or parachuting? Wow, you're making this choice really difficult. Now Haynes has given us the leftover money from the Polito job to pull this mission, and the crew will be paid out of that. We keep the change. So, what's it gonna be? <laughs> so you do want to mop. Okay, well, you'll need a couple of gunmen. They'll go in with you as firemen. Everything goes to plan. They won't fire a single bullet, but you will be running into a burning high-rise with them, so consider that. He's my go-to guy. I ain't changing that now. Ah, Norm. Came across as a, a bit of an idiot, but could be useful. Okay. That all look good to you? You are robbing the FIB here. <laughs> and we have a winner. I'll make the arrangements and call you when we're ready. All right, shit, hit me. You know, um, I'm still looking into that Union Depository gig. It's real interesting. But I don't know if we can do it without you-know-who. Uh, well, as long as he can't do it without us. Okay. <sighs> Sugar plum. Daddy, I'm in trouble. What is it? Money? Drugs? Your mother. There's this guy. He's been following me around. I think he's about to do something. Where are you? Vinewood Plaza. Okay, wait there. He's been following me in my car, so let's just drive around and you can talk to him when he shows. Oh, yeah. We'll talk.
Let's go find him. We should try over at Hawaiian Snow for him. We're looking for a guy in a purple convertible. I don't remember what make. Okay, I'll keep an eye out. Thanks, Daddy. Hey, what are dads for, huh? I mean, other than giving you money, putting a roof over your head, speaking to guys who ridicule you on TV. Is he here? No, he's not around. We should try that motel opposite the big construction site. Where'd you meet this guy? Uh, at a signing? What are you signing? A pot petition? Well, you better not be taking out credit like your brother. Not credit. You see him? Definitely. I He's don't think so. Maybe we should look over at Cluck and Bell. Rockford Plaza. Hey. I, I was signing autographs at the expo. People want to meet you after that video on fame or shame? Yeah. Yeah. The videos. Ah, well, now you just got to find a way to make money out of it. <laughs> <laughs> We found this brick me with a Y. Not yet. Okay. Oh, uh, how about going around the corner and back up the hill past Crockahoo? My baby girl's a celebrity with her very own stalker. You finally made it, Dad. You raise your kids in Rockford Hills. What was I thinking? You know, it's amazing you've turned out this good. Ah! Purple car! That's him! Fuck! He's on you! Let's go! What are you running for, pal? Let's talk! Seriously! I didn't know she already had a sugar daddy! That's so creepy when there's a grown man in the car. I swear he was gonna do something, Dad. Yeah, well now we're the ones who are gonna do something. All kinds of things. He's out of the car! I get it. I'm going. I'll never come back. Hey, man, what's up? He's running! We're letting him go, right? He got the message. Yeah, I think he got the message. Hey, what's going on, brother? Stop. Let's just say it don't look like he's gonna turn up at your next fan club, AGM. The fan club's gone national. That's amazing PR, Pop. I might... Hey, stop it. Be careful next time. Would you mind if I leaked this? Leaked what? I thought we had you potty trained two decades ago. Ew, I meant bleed it or something. No bleeder, no life invader, no whatever else you got. Being this public with your life is what got you into this situation. But it'll really boost my profile. You got creep stalking you. I'd say your profile is plenty boosted already. We've dealt with that crazy. You don't have to drive like a maniac. I'm a little keyed up, okay? I need to wind down. Maybe speeding and hitting people and swerving all over the place isn't the best way to relax. Just saying, hashtag. Maybe it's the quickest way to get somewhere where I can relax. Where? The grave? Death row? I know what I'm doing, baby. Just calm down. I think you're the one who needs to calm down, you maniac. No wonder I need medicating. No creepy stalkers in this joint, honey. Just creepy brothers, killers, drug dealers. Thanks, Daddy. Bye. I'm glad I could use my paternal rage productively for once. Thank you.
could you? I mean, this is low even for you, dickhead. Do you know how embarrassing it was to wear one shoe to that party? All Hello, this is 911. What emergency service do you require? Thank you. The fire department are en route to your location. Hey Lester, we got a fire truck. It's parked around the back of your place. Good work. Call me when the rest of the prep's taken care of, okay? Sweet Jesus! Keep cooling up, baby! It's just a car. Please raise up now, motherfucker! Damn! You chick checking in with me? You're gonna get laid.
What miracle did you want me to perform? From 60 to zero in like two seconds. If that car was a woman, I'd kiss her. That's a juice.
Come on, lady. Don't fight. <laughs> Shit. Like to party, Daddy? Say hello to hey, your Les, for me. that getaway car is parked where we need it. All right, give me the location. Downtown Vinewood. Then I guess we can't put it off any longer. I'll get word out to the guys. Come out to my office and speak to me. Holy oh, shit! Give me the oh, fucking oh, bike! Sure, come on, get in, quick. Hey, there she is. Oh shit, here they come! Go, go, go! Lose them! Uh, get out no. the fucking way! Wait, over here, come on, one time. Oh, this is a disaster! I am so fucking fat! Oh my god, they cannot get a shot of me! How's my hair? Do I look cute? Why don't we worry about the gang of lunatics chasing you first? One shot, Lacey! Hey, why don't you eat something, Lacey? They're crazy.
Crazy, what the hell did you do? I'm really famous! I didn't do anything! This is my average commute! So who are you, anyway? Who am I? Uh, hello! Take another look! Uh, hello? I'm trying to focus on not killing us right now. How out of touch are you? I'm Lacey Jonas. I'm the voice of a generation! Not my generation. That's bullshit! I test very well in your demographic. Uh, looks like we lost them. Oh, thank God. Now, would you be a total sweetheart and give me a ride back to the hills? What a day. What, am I your chauffeur now? Oh, pretty please. I can't walk home. Most men would kill for this opportunity. <laughs> Consider it my good deed for the day. My kids aren't really academic types. Besides, a 90-pound celebrity against an army of paparazzi doesn't seem like very fair odds to me. Oh, please. I'm such a fat little piggy right now. Ugh, too many french fries. I mean, I mostly just suck on them and spit them into a bucket, but that's still probably like a hundred calories. The media love their little Macy Jonas jokes. All that, she's a skeleton, give that girl a sandwich. Lameness. Whatever, I bet they're all total hippos. When I get home, I'm like totally gonna suck all my personal trainers. This is me. Thanks for saving me from those awful paps. You're such a sweetie.
Four plane backseat twister. You got great taste. are hardcore. All right, shit, it's time to go.